King's Indian Defense, Orthodox, Positional Defense, 8.B3C6. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but White was on another level. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nf6, which advances the knight into the center. The central square, d4, controls the e5 and c5 squares. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. c4 obtains room in the middle and on the queen side and gets ready to advance the knight to c3. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. The d5 and e4 squares are under the control of nc3, which advances the knight into the center. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The development of the light squared bishop is permitted by e4's complete control of the center. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. b2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king's side. nbd7 develops the knight toward the center, supports the knight on f6 and controls the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. The d4 pawn is attacked by e5, which occupies space in the center. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. Although the score was nearly equal, white now has the upper hand. It is incorrect. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. Very precise. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. It is ideal. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This loses material. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a knight and gain a tempo. It is incorrect. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. This pushes a passed pawn. This threatens to win a rook. It is best. This leads to losing a rook. It is a blunder. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. Sharp a back and forth game where both players had chances. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. 
Black found some nice moves in the middle game.